Okay, let's check. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. Good evening. We have Thursday, a beautiful day. And also it's raining somehow, which is wonderful. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to have our four class of this week. Just let me get the material so we can start with this one. Uh, this one is. Thank you so much. How are you? How you feel today? Everything good? Yes. Yes, teacher. Sounds great. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Olga, hello, Olga. How are you? You good? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank oh, you. Oh, sounds great. Thank you so much for being here. Um, welcome. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. We're going to have another English class here on Zoom. Okay. Uh, we're going to have Thursday. This is our last day of this month, right? This month has been for ages. Like, I don't know. A lot of days. A lot of days with um, Akos. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Let's, uh, we're going to have section number two. Career moves. Comparisons with adjectives and nouns. Uh, it's pre-advanced module number one. This is class number four. Okay, so welcome. It's nice to have you. Everybody, I wish everybody is at home, happy and safe, right? So um, thank you so much for being here. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're going to start um, with this class. Let's begin with the information. Here we're going to have this short... um. Reading, okay, so do me a favor, please. Let me check who's here. Uh, Carla, Selena, hello, Carla, good evening. Welcome. Hello, thank you. Um, do me a favor, please. Uh, can you describe the picture? What do you see there in the picture? Mm -hmm. Two people, we are talking. And okay. She wore a rose, a pink, pink skirt, and he's using glasses, and she's using not. No se complicó ya. A necklace? An actress, okay. okay. And he has a paper in on the his no her now hands and he he using a sweater. Yes. Sweater. And he has a black hair. Yep, you got it. Uh, where is this conversation taking place? Sorry? Uh, where is this conversation taking place? Like, where is happening? About the paragraph? Um, no, I mean, in the picture. Like, where is this conversation ah. happening? Like, at home? Like? Maybe in office? Maybe in an office. Okay, thank you. Do me a favor, um, Selena. Read the information, please. This one. Okay. Choosing a career can be difficult if you are not sure what job is best is best for you. Expert suggests the following to help you make a decision: take a career assignment test to find out. What professions are a good match for you? Look at your educa educational and work achievements to determine your strength and weakness. Think about your hobbies and free time activity and what they say about your interests, abilities, and values. 
talk with a friend or family member who is a good listener or rest consult with a career counselor. Consular. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, so this reading is about uh, we're pretty much this information is about like a career, right? Um, that's pretty much what this thing about. Uh, talk about your career plans. Question for you, Olga, Marleni. Good evening. Which skills and abilities would you use in this future career? Like here in the reading. Uh huh. Mm, let me see. Okay, sure. Maybe talk with a friend and fam or family member who is a good listener or consult with a career counselor. Okay, thank you so much. Thank okay. you so much. Okay, that's very nice of you. Uh, Jenny, Carolina. How is this type of work related to what you want to accomplish in your life? Mm. Oh, I I think I I want a job in maybe in attention al cliente. Mm -hmm. Customer service. Customer service. Uh, if possible in English. Exactly. Exactly. I want I want this. Oh sure, sure. Job. You yeah, you will get it, that's for sure. Okay. Yes. It's because you work with it with for that. Uh -huh. I work so I work in similar job mm. but in Spanish. Oh, and and um Jenny, let me tell you, like you're doing a really nice job. Okay, so keep working like that. I know that is hard for you. Yes. It's so uh, hard. <laughs> and all, yeah. And also, um, because you work and you study at the same time, it's, it's somehow tired. You get tired really easy, right? Uh, so, um, and I work out <laughs> and I work in the gym. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good, right? So it's like my life is run, run, run all day. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, so uh, keep working like that I, and, and you will get it. You will accomplish that. For sure. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing. Karen Yvette, Pija Nueva. Question for you, this one. How sure are you of your current career choice? Mm -hmm. First, I know my abilities and, and hobbies and mentors. And yes, it talks about with my family my 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 family maybe so and check the test the, the interesting so they support you on this one yeah. oh that's very nice yes it's necessary to know the, the abilities oh this way thank you so much wonderful mm -hmm. okay let's take a look of um this conversation here okay let's first of all describe the picture um sara Pelloso. good evening thank you please describe this picture here thank you i think um he is a safe safe one i think is the name of i don't know um he's in the beach and he's wearing wearing a t-shirt. Um, it's a very sunny day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What What do you think is like his professional occupation? I think it's a uh, safe word. Is the name right? Okay. Or lifeguard. Okay. Life <laughs> That's okay, no problem. Uh, how does he look like? I think it's uh difficult and uh 
dangerous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What is the principal skill that you got to have if you want to be a, like a lifeguard? Uh, <laughs> he, he has to be good at swimming. Oh, yeah, right? For sure. <laughs> For sure. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. We have the title, It Doesn't Pay As Much. What is the meaning of this? Giovanni, hello. Good evening. Tell me, please. We have this title here. What is your what are your thoughts about this comment? Oh, can you participate or are you busy? I haven't checked the WhatsApp group. Okay, let me check really quick. Okay. Okay, no. Okay, uh, Jose Lino. Thank you, Jose Lino. Tell me, please. Um, what do you think about this title here? It doesn't pay as much. Maybe the people working this place is a uh, the opportunity save life or life save. What do you say? Is is a uh, Passions, mm -hmm. conviction, yes. yes. That's right. Okay. No need, no need money. It's a conviction. No, I don't know. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing that. We're going to listen to this conversation and then we can figure it out. What is this? It doesn't pay as much means. Okay. Let's listen and read. Page 11, Exercise 7, Conversation. It doesn't pay as much. Part A. Listen and practice. Guess what? I found a summer job. That's great. Anything interesting? Yes, working at a beach resort. Wow, that sounds fantastic. So have you found anything? Nothing yet, but I have a couple of leads. One is working as an intern for a news website, mostly answering emails and posts from readers. Or I can get a job as a camp counselor again. Being an intern sounds more challenging than working at a summer camp. You could earn college credits, and it's probably not as much work. Yeah, but the internship doesn't pay as much as the summer camp job. Do they have another opening at the beach resort? That's the kind of job I'd really enjoy. Page 11, Exercise 7, Conversation. It doesn't pay as much. Part A, Listen and Practice. Guess what? I found a summer job. That's great. Anything interesting? Yes, working at a beach resort. Wow, that sounds fantastic. So have you found anything? Nothing yet, but I have a couple of leads. One is working as an intern for a news website, mostly answering emails and posts from readers. Or I can get a job as a camp counselor again. Being an intern sounds more challenging than working at a summer camp. You could earn college credits, and it's probably not as much work. Yeah, but the internship doesn't pay as much as the summer camp job. Do they have another opening at the beach resort? That's the kind of job I'd really enjoy. Thank you so much. That was the conversation. It doesn't pay as much. Roberto Eduardo, hello. Good evening. Hi, hi. Welcome. Okay, what about you, Oscar? Can you participate? Or are you busy? Janet Carolina, hello. Good evening. Hello, hello, Janet. Can you participate? Karen Elizabeth. Hello, hello, good evening. Can you participate? Oh, Maria Santos. Hello, Maria good Santos. Good teacher. Thank you so much. How are you, gentlemen? How are you, teacher? My name is Roberto. Oh, thank you. Please, Roberto, uh, tell me, what is this conversation about? Uh, we're talking about uh, 
he have a maybe a he have a a new job, you know, and for he's he's working for the beach resort. Um, Emma, for example, she's a uh, a very uh she's uh, happy because she's working about the that this job I think. Uh, what else? And um, I think that's all. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, uh, what do you do? Excuse me. Uh, who me or, or yeah, you? What do you do? Uh, right now, you know, I just coming from work. You know, uh, uh, just I I connect a little bit late. You know, but I'm here right now. You know, I'm trying to listen uh uh the conversation about this class uh, okay very good i will i will say two questions and and try to figure it out what is the meaning like what are you doing and what do you do uh, right now uh i'm at, i'm i'm doing to try to to learn english um, and, uh, what I do, you know, I I work, I try to work so hard, and I try to to study in English because I want to uh, get a a better job or extra extra. Ex I wanna get a extra money, you know, because I wanna get a both job, you know, for example my job right now and I want to get that extra extra money for another job so that's great that's what I want to do it says uh, great uh, what the, I'm sorry um because I told you like two questions right uh, the first one is what do you do and that question goes related to your occupation like your job like what do you do for a living yes oh, okay and, and yes and because when you gave me the answer like what are you doing right now that's what the answer you gave me like you were describing the things that you're doing right now at the moment and the question like what do you do comes goes related to your job like what is your occupation or professions so um i just was wondering about your answer and just to give you that that feedback right just just be careful with the with the answer related to the question yes um because it's quite similar and we tend to confuse that when somebody say oh what do you do? Usually, sometimes we, we tend to confuse and we say, oh, I'm listening um uh, the class or I'm, I'm, I'm here taking oh, a class. Yeah. Yes, but, but the purpose of the question, what do you do is about your job. Yes, okay, it's about your it's occupation. Some, it, it, okay, it's something like uh, when you, somebody tell me, uh, tell me about yourself or something like that, right? Mm, and, mm, I'm sorry. No, it, this is specifically about your job. When when somebody's uh -huh. ask you like what do you do? Sometimes we add for a living at the end, right? What do you do for a living? Just to just to be clear, right? But sometimes it goes like, what do you do? Yeah. Uh, okay. And we have the other question, which is with present continuous, right? What are you doing? What are you doing? Like like are. You know, we have the verb to be uh, in the middle. Okay, so uh, thank you so much. Okay. That's very nice of you. Okay, thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Okay, we're going to practice a little bit this conversation. Lino, you are going to be Tyler, and Emma is going to be this girl whose name is Sara Elisa Belloso Hernandez. Thank you so much. Ready? Let's begin. Okay, I'm Tyler. Guess what? I found a summer job. That's great. Anything interesting? Yes, working at Beach Resort. Wow, that sounds fantastic. So, have, have you found anything? Nothing yet, but I have a couple of leads. One is working as an intern for a news website, mostly answering emails and posts from readers. Or I can get a job, job as a camp counselor again. Paying an intern sounds more challenging than working 
at a summer camp. You could earn college credits and it's probably not as much work. Yeah, but the internship doesn't pay as much as the summer camp job. Do they have another opening at the beach resort? That's the kind of job I really enjoy. Everything is perfect. Thank you so much. Yes, we're going to have Jenny. You're going to be Tyler, uh, Jenny. And your partner is going to be this Marlene Elizabeth. You're going to be Emma. Ready? Mm -hmm. Let's begin. Guess what? I found a summer job. That's great. Anything interesting? Yes, working at the at a beach resort. Wow, that sounds fantastic. So have you found anything? Nothing yet, but I have a couple of leads. leads. One is working as an intern for a news website, mostly answering emails and posts from read readers. Or I can get a job as a camp counselor again. Be, being um, an intern sounds more challenge than working at summer camp. You could earn college credits and it's probably not as a much work. Yeah, but the internship doesn't pay as, as much as the summer camp job. Do they have another opening at the beach resort? That's the kind of job I really enjoy. Thank you so much. Great job. No mistakes. Very good. Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Thank you so much. Hello, teacher. Thank you. You're going to be Emma. Yes. Okay. Yes. Karen, Elizabeth, Bernal, can you participate? Let me check the chat. Okay. Thank you. I. Yes, I'm sorry to hear about it. Okay. I'm sorry. I hope you get well um soon. Okay. Uh, so we can have you back. Okay. Um let me see. Blanca, your partner is gonna be this Selena. Thank you. You're Tyler. Let's begin, please. Thank you. Guess what? I found a summer job. That's great. Anything interesting? Yes, working at a beach resort. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Have you found anything? Nothing yet, but I have a couple of leads. One is working as an intern for a news website, mostly answering emails and posts from readers. Or I can get a job as a camp counselor again. Being an intern sounds more challenging than working at the summer camp. You could earn college credit and it's probably not as much work. Yeah, but the internship doesn't pay as much as the summer camp job. Do they have another coming at the beach opening at the beach resort? That's the kind of job I really enjoy. Thank you so much. Very good. Great job. Karen, Yvette, tell me, what is the meaning of a summer job? Is the summer job is the job in the, for example, lifeguard? Excuse me? Lifeguard. Okay, but I'm, I'm talking about the context of summer job. Job in the, in the, in the sun. Exactly. Very good. Right. So in the U.S., they usually have this kind of jobs where they can just be like just for this season. Right. It's a summer job. Very good. Thank you so much. Page 11. OK, we're going to have this conversation. Mm -hmm. Part B. What is Tyler going to do at the resort? Yes. OK. I want you to listen to the audio and focus on this question, right? What is Tyler going to do at the resort? Let's listen. Page 11, exercise seven, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Tyler going to do at the resort? 
So what will you be doing at the beach resort? Nothing that great, actually. I'll be working with the entertainment staff, you know, making sure the guests are having a good time. That sounds interesting to me. What exactly will you have to do? Well, during the day, I'll have to organize activities and games for adults and children. And then we have to take part in evening activities, you know, shows, parties. I see. It sounds like your days will be pretty long. For sure. And the job is six days a week. Wow. You mean you only have one day off? Yeah. But the resort is in such a beautiful place that I think it's worth it. Besides, the pay is really good. You know what? I'm beginning to think that the job at the website isn't so bad after all. Page 11, Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Tyler going to do at the resort? So, what will you be doing at the beach resort? Nothing that great, actually. I'll be working with the entertainment staff, you know, making sure the guests are having a good time. That sounds interesting to me. What exactly will you have to do? Well, during the day, I'll have to organize activities and games for adults and children. And then we have to take part in evening activities, you know, shows, parties. I see. It sounds like your days will be pretty long. For sure. And the job is six days a week. Wow. You mean you only have one day off? Yeah. But the resort is in such a beautiful place that I think it's worth it. Besides, the pay is really good. You know what? I'm beginning to think that the job at the website isn't so bad after all. Thank you. So uh, what, are, what are the options that we have? What is Tyler going to do at their resort? Anybody? Organizing uh, games for the kids. Shows and parties. parties. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. And he's going to he going to work at six days six a days week. a week. Exactly and the, right. And the pay is really good. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's like that is not a perfect job. Yeah. It's the most important thing. <laughs> it's the most the pay. <laughs> the payment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. That was very nice. Yes, right. Okay. Eh, eh, y que soporte, right? Yeah, y que soporte. That's, that's the way. That's the way, right? Okay. Uh, we're going to have left. a little bit of the grammar part. Let's listen and watch. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to compare different jobs using adjectives and nouns. For example, let's say that you're considering being a fashion designer or an accountant. Being a fashion designer is more interesting than being an accountant. Or maybe you're considering working as a doctor or a nurse. So a doctor has worse hours than a nurse. So in order to express these ideas, we need to use adjectives and nouns to make these comparisons. So let me do the following. Let me just uh, present the structure. But uh, before we do that, what I would like to do is present this um, comparison structures. Uh, let me just quickly point out that um, all the comparisons that we're going to do in this class and also the following we're, we're just going to use this few comparisons, as you can see. We're going to use these words to make the comparisons. So as you can see, we could say more. And um, here in the middle, we will include an adjective. Uh, and, um, and then we'll include than. And that will make the comparison there. Um, on the other hand, we could use less. And at the same time, we'll use an adjective there. Um, so a quick example, um, being a fashion designer is more interesting than being an accountant, okay, or being an accountant is less interesting than being a fashion designer, and so on and so forth. Um, I guess also, uh, since I pointed out a doctor, a doctor has worse hours than a nurse, or a nurse has better hours than a doctor. 
uh, and then we're going to use this um, other ones here to point out that they might have similarities, that they might be the same or that they might not be the same. Um, and so that's what we're going to be doing in uh, this class. So let's try to make the comparison with, between two jobs. Um, what we'll do is we'll select this first two as you can see here. So we have this one looks like a lawyer and picture number two looks like a mechanic. So let's make the comparison between lawyer and a mechanic. Before we do that, we want to have some uh, work-related adjectives in mind, such as stressful, fantastic, fascinating, difficult, easy, interesting, dangerous. And of course, there are many more, but because of time, we're not going to go through um, a lot of other adjectives. Uh, and we also want to have, uh, or we want to consider, work-related uh, nouns. So what are nouns? They're just people, places, or things, right? So in this case, when we think about jobs, we want to think about things like hours, how many hours you work, education, uh, how much education do you have, uh, work, uh, is your job, does your job consist of doing a lot of work, right? Uh, and these are the kind of things that we want to keep in mind in order for us to make uh, these comparisons. So what can we say about a lawyer versus, uh, let's say, a mechanic, right? We want to make the comparison between those two. Well, uh, we could say the following. I think we could say that working as a lawyer uh, is more <coughs> stressful than working as as a mechanic. And then, so we will use an adjective in this case. I decided to use the adjective stressful. Uh, and it's, I think it's also important to mention that this is an, an opinion, right? So my opinion could be different than yours. You could think the opposite of this. So I, I wouldn't know neither one of those two because I never worked as a lawyer or as a mechanic, so I wouldn't know which one is more stressful. But it sounds like the lawyer is more stressful. And the way that we do it is, well, we're, notice that we're continuing using general phrases similar to uh, the previous class that we had where, where we learned how to make general phrases. So working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic. Um, at the same time, you could, uh, you could say working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a lawyer. Um, and that's, in essence, is basically the same sentence, right? But it's just in a different way. Working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a lawyer. There you go. There we go. And the reason I did this is because I quickly wanted to point out that we can use either more um, or we could also use less. So what else could we say about a lawyer and a mechanic? Is as interesting as working as a mechanic. So if I absolutely love cars, then definitely I think that working as a mechanic is very interesting. So in this case, I wanted to point this one out uh, because I want to express that both jobs are the same. So to me, both jobs um, have the same level, if you will, right? They are the same. One is not better than the other. Uh, and again, this is my opinion um, because I love cars and I also think that um, uh, lawyers are interesting and the work that the lawyers do is very interesting. So again, I want to point out that in this case, I'm using adjectives to make the comparisons. What I want to do next is use nouns to make the comparisons. So what kind of nouns can we think about when uh, we think about comparing these two jobs? Well, previously I mentioned that we can think of things like hours, maybe education, uh, or perhaps the type of work that people do. So, well, lawyer and mechanic. It, it usually is the case that a lawyer has more education than a mechanic, right? 
so uh, in this case we can say that a lawyer has more education uh, than a mechanic uh, this is the noun that I am using to compare what else can we say about the two jobs well um, I could probably say that a mechanic has better hours than a lawyer okay and in this case as you can see I used the one here in the middle better and in the middle I included uh, the noun to make the comparisons right so the noun that I'm using to compare its hours at the same time I could say a lawyer has worse hours than a mechanic okay uh, and perhaps I could say that working as a mechanic isn't as much work as working as a lawyer so what I would like for you to do now is I would like for you to look at all of these jobs I will be publishing this this document here okay uh, so we got uh, there's a model there's a journalist there's a photographer a painter and just choose randomly two jobs that you would like to compare hi everyone but thank you so there we got a little bit of the grammar part related to comparison that's what we're gonna do just to compare right uh, jobs that's what we're doing here before we get into the next exercise i would like to take the attendance when you hear your beautiful name please say present or i'm here and also please write in the chat on whatsapp if you are just listening the class Let's begin with Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. Present. Thank you and good evening. Nice to have you. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. No, he isn't. Giovanni Stanley Flores Salazar. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Hello. No, she isn't. What about Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez? I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Mr. Nice Giovanni to... is reading in the, in the chat. Oh, thank you so much. That's very nice of you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Present, teacher. Thank you and welcome. Nice to have you. Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzman. Here I am, teacher. Thank you so much. Um... Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Maria Santos Lopez. Present, teacher. Thank you and good evening. Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much and it's nice to hear you. Michelle Beatriz Diaz Guzman. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Michelle Beatriz. I'm sorry, I did it already. Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Neftali. Él no. pidió permiso porque iba a llevar a su hijo a la clínica. Oh, Así oh, está. oh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Olga Marleni Gómez Ríos. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Um, Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Present teacher. Welcome, nice to have you. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla Garcia. Present teacher. Nice to have you, gentlemen. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernández. Present. Thank you so much. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. And Jenny Carolina Ardón Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Okie dokie, let's carry on with the grammar part that we have for today so we can uh, get a little bit the end of this class, you... on this exercise. Here we have the main thing, which is comparison. Thank you, Giovanni. I already checked those. Okay, also, Karen, thank you so much for being here. Okay. Um. So, comparisons. We have adjectives. We have nouns. We have verbs. And we have with past participles. Okay, here we have this quick information. Okay, uh, Carla Selena, please 
read this information, Carla Selena. Thank you. Okay. With a comparison with objects, some more, some more or less challenge that uh, is hard down. It's harder than it's not as hard as with now has better or worse hours than has more education than isn't as much for us with bears errors more or less than errors as much as doesn't pay a much up. with past participle is better pay than is a well paid us is saying as well pay as carry carry on please okay when making general comparison comparison is the pronunciation oh yes comparison okay comparison. what's up come nouns use a m plus noun or no article plus plural noun a pilot more than a fly attendant Pilot air more than the attendants, not the pilot air more than the flight attendants. Thank you so much. Very good. So here at the end, be careful with singular and plurals, right? Remember with plurals, no article. No article, just the letter S, just to make plural here at the beginning, and then attendants here. But if you have something singular, yes, you need to have an article. Yes? to make it singular. Let's take a look at some exercises here. Make comparison with the information below and it says add articles or in other words, when necessary. So that means that we are going to make comparison and we are going to add the extra information that we need. For example, here we have architect, okay? More education, hairstylist. So this is the vocabulary that they gave me, right? Yes, they gave me this one. So what I do, I add this article on, yes, a little bit of this verb, needs, right? The word done because I'm making a comparison. And then one more time, the article with the professional occupation. Yes. What about number two? What is the sentencing number two? Anybody? Uh, uh, elementary school teacher. Okay. Um, like Anne, like this one? A uh, elementary school teacher. Okay, like this one. A uh, elementary. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's Anne. Oh, okay. It's Anne. Why Anne? Because of the E sound, right? Anne, yeah. elementary a school teacher. What is next? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> An elementary school teacher? Elementary teacher. Uh huh. This one. Elementary oh. is not correct. It's oh, let me, let me check. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Okay. So this is the beginning, right, of the sentence that you are comparing. Okay. So an elementary school teacher. What is next? More. Continue. Uh -huh. Okay. More than college. Okay. College professor. Is that true? What do you think about it? I like think it, a college professor earn more than a elementary school teacher. 
Yeah, for me, that's true. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's the opposite, right? It's the opposite. There is another mistake that I think we have there. Take a look. What is that little thing that we are missing? That pretty much is from basic. That comes from basic. It is, is uh, the, the college professor is more than an elementary school teacher. Okay. Let me check. Let me, let me switch that. Very good. Yeah, but in addition to that one, there is a little thing that we are missing, I guess. Okay. Let me know, please. College. Mm -hmm. College professor. Uh, okay. College is with O. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Oopsie. Thank you so much. Okay. Then, um... mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Like that? Yep. Perfect. Yes. Mm, okay. A college professor and uh, nor than an apprentice. Yeah. That makes sense. Just let me add the capital letter at the beginning. But there is one little thing that is, I don't know, like it's killing me in this sentence. One little thing that we, like, I think we're missing. And if you notice in the first exercise, we are missing that. So you let me know. Yeah. Excuse me? The verb. Okay, what is, what's happening with the verb? Uh, the S. You have to add the S. Beautiful. Beautiful. Don't forget third person singular. That little thing, yeah, it looks simple, but it is there, right? From basic. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. That's very nice. What about number two? What's the sentence in number two? Anurus. Okay. Okay, that is singular or plural? Plural. Oh, okay. So what's the beginning? Narcissus. Narcissus, very good. Just just narcissus because it's plural, right? Very good. Narcissus. Mm. Here we need to have. add something. Oh, very good. Have. Worth, worth oh. hours than psychiatric. Than psychiatrist. ¿Cómo se dice? Psychiatrist. 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 Yeah, psychiatrist. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let me know if I if I did a mistake. Nurses have worse hours than a psychiatrist or just psychiatrist. Article, yes or no here before psychiatrist? Uh, no, Selena, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> no article, okay? Because it's plural, remember? Plural, no article, right? Because it's plural. Very good, thank you so much. What about number four? Working as a police officer is... Working mm. as a police... police. Officer, as oh, as, thank you. As, as being a firefighter, firefighter. Mm, yeah, but I need a verb. I need a verb over there. Working as is, a police. Is oh, very good. Is very good. As, is as, oh, geez. Is as like Michael Jackson, right? Dangerous. Okay. Uh, oh, jeez. The euros. What's next? Pass. Uh, mm -hmm. Has been a firefighter. Has been, you told me, a mm -hmm. firefighter. Oh, look at that one. Oh, jeez. Firefighter. Oh, my gosh. 
This is very long. Five fighter. Okay, okay. Ah, Jesus. Ah, oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. I like. Oh, that's why I hate soon because it doesn't allow me to switch that. Okay. You tell me like working um, as a police officer. Oh, this one is like um, uh, is as dangerous. Okay. Um, as being, correct me if I run. Oh, firefighter. Okie dokie. Yes. Working is without S at the final. Oh, working. Yes, thank you so much. Working as a police officer is as dangerous as being. Yeah? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's work with number five. We started from the bottom now. Here. Okay, what we have here, number five. Teacher, in this case, is maybe taxi driver is not as well paid. Oh, look at that one. Look at that one. Okay, okay, okay. You told me, you told me one more time. Taxi driver. Okay, singular or plural? Mm, singular. Singular. E exactly. So we need an. Driver. Exactly. A. 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 We need the article, oh, right? Very good. A taxi driver is not as well paid. I'm gonna use contraction. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. Well, no. what is paid. next? Ah, paid. electrician. Paid. Ah, paid. What is next? What is next? Paid. And um, a taxi driver is not as well paid. But I don't know, is Dan an uh, electrician or us? Dan mm -hmm. no, You know. tell me, you tell me. Don't worry, okay? Just spill it out and don't forget about... I'm not make... sure. Mm -hmm. What is your option? A taxi driver is in as well pay. Dan, oh. a electrician. No, I'm sorry, it's not Dan. Dan. As. Uh-huh. It's not Dan. It's us. Oh, very as. good. Yes. What is next? Not as um, an electrician. Exactly. An electrician. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Don't don't be afraid to make mistakes, people. Yeah. Doesn't matter. We're learning. Yeah. Even myself, sometimes I do mistakes. Yeah. And that's that's for free, right? Nothing else happens. Just as a mistake. Okay. A taxi driver isn't as well paid as an electrician. Oh, isn't. I'm sorry to hear about it. Yes. Okay. What about number six? Being a tour guide is less interesting. Oh, okay. Hey, what happened? Okay. Being a tour, a tour guide. Okay. <laughs> What's next? What is the verb? What is the verb? Is. Oh. El verb to be, I love verb to be, is my favorite. It's in basic and it's in advanced. Okay? <laughs> you take it or leave it, right? It's less what is next? interesting. Less in. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. B. Okay. Interesting. Has been an actor. Oh, yes. There you go. There you Dan. go. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Don't worry, okay, thank you. Gracias, querida amiga Jenny. You're welcome, my friend. <laughs> Teacher say Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Be that Okay, that's good. That was good. That was great. You nailed it. You nailed it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, there goes. Yeah. Michelle Beatriz says. Oh, my in the favorite chat. expression that the teacher says. Oh, geez. oh, gee, yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. You see, that means that you're learning. That's you made my day. You made my day, right? I just a little bit. Yeah. Not the full class. Just a little bit. That's what I need from you. Yes. That's wonderful. Very good. 
let's see if we have another one next if we have an exercise here just give me a minute uh -huh. i think i got another one let me check really quick oh this one i love pictures okay because that thing make us speak karen yvette please help us describe what do you see here in this picture teacher sorry i think that jenny is going to be saying say about the picture because she worked with a lot of children oh jenny oh, oh okay <laughs> that's very nice okay that's very nice yes jenny okay give us the light on this one please um, i see um uh, a kid's really crazy <laughs> and the the maybe the mother or the teacher or the baby city is um uh, uh, really stressful stressful and agotar exhausted <laughs> exhausted like me <laughs> What do you do like when when children behave like the way these children are doing it here in this picture? What do you do? How, how do you face that? Mm, eh, the, the the girl and the boy is jumping in the yeah. in the sofa. The the boy a little boy is climb the 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 model. No sé cómo se dice. Eh, esto, el módulo, no sé. I think it's like a shelf. 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 Mm -hmm. And Jenny the... say, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, do, do you like, do you get like somehow like angry when, when they behave like this one, Jenny? Like, mm -hmm. um... in, in the, in the, in my job is, this this case is um, it is all the day and in the classroom the the boys in the in the in the girls uh, really really uh like a uh, hacer desorden like they misbehave they misbehave yeah, me puedes repetir por favor oh, misbehave <laughs> misbehave mm -hmm. um is the 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 children only say say in silence when uh, it is <laughs> it's true <laughs> believe me what what she's saying is 100 percent true that's the way they are and that's the way you you used to be like when you were like <laughs> like like i don't know like eight yeah yeah i um that's very nice jenny thank you so much for sharing Okay, um yeah, it, it, it looks pretty hard. Yeah, looks pretty hard. I mean dealing with this uh kind of behavior uh for like let's say long periods of time sounds a challenging. That's a very challenging job. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have this one really quick. First use words from the list to complete the job. Title, then choose the best expression to complete the jobs in the sentences, right? So let's begin. A child care worker doesn't earn as much as an accountant. What about number two? Mm -hmm. What do we have in number two? Yes, what is the job in number two? A chef. Oh my gosh. Where's that? Mm -hmm. First, use the, wor the words from the list to complete each job title. Okay. Maybe a chef assistant. Okay, very, very good. Thank you so much. So here we have assistant. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Okay, a job assistant. Chef assistant has what is the next? Mm -hmm. What is the option? Worse hours than, not as good hours as worse hours as. Worse hours than. Exactly, very good. 
Band. Very good. Yes. That's wonderful. Yes. A waiter. Thank you. What about number three? What is the job that goes with number three? As a worker. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. What is the comparison that we have here? It's is... more interesting than a student intern. Mm. Or he not is boring. It's not as boring, boring as a student intern. But the worker is no, not as boring. Interesting than a student intern. It's more interesting. No, I don't think so. Yes. No, it's a boring. Ranger. No, I think the best option should be better pay than. Better paid than. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. A dog worker is better paid than a student intern. That's what I think. It's more interesting than, okay, it's not boring as, yeah, I think this one fits here. And I'm sorry, but the time is over. We're going to stop it here. And I would like to tell you, enjoy your weekend, people. Be nice, be happy, and have a good rest. Thank you so much. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye.